Good afternoon, and welcome to Redemption Christian Church. We're located at 3679 Kimball, right here on the corner of Kimball and Robin Hood. My name is Patty Peters, and I am the Director of Evangelism at RCC. I, I want to welcome you to Redemption Christian Church because I'm so excited about all of the things that we have in store for everybody. Because I often say that this church, RCC, is a church where everybody is somebody and Jesus is Lord. But before I go into the events of what we have and how we have it, I just want you to know that we have a choir that you can die for. I say it's on fire because our mass choir is on fire every Sunday. And you know, of course, and I must say this, our church began, the church service began at 10 o'clock. And it's over before you know it. But I'll tell you one thing, that our pastor, he explains the word of God. We have not had a service yet that has really been one that you can say, oh, I don't know about this service, but every service here at Redemption Christian Church is a service that you will have to be. So if you do not have a church home, if you don't have a church home, please visit us. Church service starts at 10 and Sunday school starts at 9. We have two Sunday school teachers and they are dynamic. But before I lead you into the message of our pastor, I want you to know that please stop by and hear what we have to give. It is something that you do not want to miss. This is Patty Peters, the Director of Evangelism, and here is Redemption Christian Church. This
wanna be where you are. I wanna be where you are. I gotta be where you are. I wanna be where you are. Yes, I do. I wanna be, wanna be. I gotta. African-American attire. The whole church was just dressed out in African-American attire. We have had a magnificent time, but this month, which is Black History Month, we have several events going on. Not only if we are celebrating our sixth church anniversary here on the corner of Robin Hood and Kimball, but we have each Sunday something that will inspire you it to motivate you to make you see that this is what this church is about the purpose is leading people to God we have magnificent events such as I have said the African uh, American attire we also have had uh, back in the day dinner which is scheduled for next Sunday back in the day dinner now you know you do not want to miss a back in the day dinner because back in the day dinner means we're bringing in those greens that grandmama used to make we're bringing in those pig feet those neck bones that cornbread the uh, sweet potato pie we're bringing in all of those things now this church have back in the day every single year and we celebrate it because we love the country cooking and next Sunday we're going to have red everybody will be dressed in red because when you look over the congregation and you see that red that spread it out throughout it reminds you 
of the blood that our Lord shed on that cross that day. So please come and join us at Redemption Christian Church. Now it's time for our pastor, our shepherd of this magnificent church. And his name is Pastor Howard L. Houston. God is holy by nature, but man is unholy by nature. But we, 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 we are holy now because when we accepted Jesus, guess what happened? The power of the Holy Ghost, the power of the Spirit of God moved into our lives. And now we can walk right. Now we can talk right. Somebody said we can even live right. Do I have a witness in the house? Why don't you give God some glory in the house? Listen, 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 my brothers and my sisters, just in case you're here and you're not saved, God is speaking to you right now. This is what God says to the sinner. God says, come let us reason together. Yeah. Saith the Lord, though your sins be as scarlet, they shall be as white as snow. But to the saint, God says, present your bodies unto God, which is your reasonable service. Uh, do a have any help in the house? I, I, I'm getting ready to close. I'm getting ready to wrap up this message. But I told you that were three things. And we've already discussed uh, two of those things. Uh, are y'all in the house? Somebody tell God, thank you. I told you, talked about dedication. And then secondly, I talked about separation. But now I want us to look at transformation. Listen, when you're dedicated and when you're separated, then the results lead to transformation. Uh, verse 2, and it said, Be not conformed to this world, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind. Yeah. In other words, Paul said, when your mind is renewed, then you think differently. And then you act. Hello. Then you act differently. Uh, because your mind has been a, a renewed. And because now you have a renewed mind, you know it's not what other folk think about you. But it's what you think about other folk. Do I have any help in the house? I'm trying to wrap up this word, but the word said, be ye transformed. Uh, transform, my brothers and my sisters, in the Greek is matter morpho. That's where we get our word metamorphosis. And it refers to a biological change. It refers to a caterpillar becoming a butterfly. Are y'all in the house? <laughs> I, I, I mean, that old caterpillar now has become a beautiful butterfly. In other words, he's been changed into a new creature. Uh, he has been transformed. Uh, any butterflies in the house? Let me hear you shout, yeah. Any butterflies on my right? You ought to give him some glory. Any butterflies on my left? You ought to lift your hand and tell God thank you. Have any butterflies behind me? You ought to wave your hand. But let me just put it like this. Not only ought you wave your hand, but you ought to flap your wings. Do I have any all right? Do you know it's all right? Tell God thank you. And when you've been changed, I said when you've been changed, then there's some things that need to be rearranged. Are <laughs> uh, y'all in the house? Somebody tell, I gotta hurry up and get us out of here. In other words, my brothers and my sister, uh, when you do some rearranging, I'm talking about your outward position. In other words, places you used to go, uh, you don't go no more. Things you used to do, you don't do anymore. People you used to hang out with, you don't hang out with them anymore because you're rearranging some stuff. In other words, when you rearrange some stuff, that means your outward position will agree with your inward position. Do I have any help? Somebody ought to shout, yeah. Somebody ought to tell God, thank you. In other words, you might look the same. 
You might wear your hair the same way. You might have the same hairstyle. But in what condition you live uh, differently. You got a new lifestyle. You got a new walk. You got a brand new talk. Anybody in the house? Somebody ought to tell God thank you. And when, you, when, when God changes you, let me tell you what he'll do. He'll live like Christ in you. He'll love like Christ through you. He'll talk like Christ through you. He'll walk like Christ in you. Do I have any help in the house? I'm on my way uh, to my seat. But I'm not interested. And I don't think God is interested in all of our expressions. Yes, in the worship service, we ought to express ourselves. We ought to give him praise. Uh, we ought to give him glory. But if you don't want to express yourself, that's all right. I'm not interested in expressions. But I want to leave y'all with an impression. <laughs> Do I have any up in the house? And that impression is Friday. He died on a hill called Calvary. Buried uh, in Joseph's new tomb. But early Sunday morning, he got up with all power uh, in his hand. Do I have any help in here? Somebody shout, yeah. Anybody know he got power? Shout hallelujah. Can I ask y'all something? Ain't he all right? Ain't he all right? Say yeah. Shout yeah. I'm getting ready to take my seat. But history tells us when I look back 2018 years, a lot of men died. Muhammad died. And he's still dead. Confucius died. He's still dead. Baal died. He, I wish I had. Baal died. But he's still dead. But history tells me Jesus died. But early Sunday morning, he got up with all power in his hand. Anybody know he got power? Shout hallelujah. I'm talking about Holy Ghost power. Wonder working power. Saving power. All power. All power. He'll give you preaching power. I got it. He'll give you praising power. Singing power. Praying power. All power in heaven and earth is in the hand. Shout hallelujah. Ain't he all right? Ain't he all right? Ain't he all right? You want to make history. Give God some glory. You want to give him some praise in this house. When praises go up, blessing. Blessing come down when praises go up. Deliverance come down when praises go up. Healing come down when praises go up. Yeah. Uh, uh, anybody feel like praising? Anybody feel like giving him some glory? Anybody want to be blessed? You ought to get on your feet. Lift your hand. Way, give God a wave offering. I dare you to shout to the top of your voice. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory. Hallelujah. Boy, ain't it all right? I would like to thank everyone for watching today and that keep watching, keep watching because Redemption Christian Church is the one that you need to be focused on. We want to see you back here, same time, same place. God bless you and remember, it is not about us, it's about Jesus.